Hi, I'm John Miglosh, and we're continuing with our series on making money with data. This is actually the second in the series on RFM. Okay, so we covered what is RFM. RFM. And by now you know that that stands for Recency Frequency Monetary. Okay, a great concept, especially if you have more customers than you can afford to contact. Okay, if you only have 100 customers, you know, run the presses, let's contact them all. But as you get thousands, tens of thousands, hundreds, millions, a lot of times we want to cut that down, especially if we have some really great offer. And so these concepts can be applied to very creative things. Very, very interesting. But sometimes people get a little drastic about it and they think this is the only concept that they need to keep in mind. So I want to tell you a little bit about one of my clients and I won't mention their name, but you might figure it out. I have mentioned them in other, in the other ones. Okay, and they, this is the year, okay? So this will be New Year's, okay? And so this is spring and this is fall, okay? And they were an outdoor outfitter. Okay, and they had two main markets. One was fishing and the other was hunting. Okay, and as we went around the year, we would be right here in January. We would mail the fishing, we would mail once, you know, we would mail, well, three times a month. We'd mail like crazy in here. Okay, and then we'd get into camping and footwear and apparel and all kinds of stuff. Okay, over here. But, then, of course, then come summer, we would start with the, with the hunting stuff and we would mail like crazy for about five months. Now, when we pulled these names, we'd be pulling these names over here in November, December. We'd be pulling the names for that mailing. We'd be pulling the names here for the mailing for the hunting, okay? Now, they were really committed to recency. Okay, now when we got the account, we were told if you could just figure out who's really a fisherman and who's really a hunter, because our number one customer complaint is, why do you send me all this hunting stuff? Why do you send me all this fishing stuff? Okay, now we're gonna, we're gonna figure this out, why? I started going around, I didn't, I wasn't a hunter, I did some fishing, but I wasn't all that serious about it. So I started going to the, to the specialty sporting goods stores around here. We have bait shops around here, and we have archery stores and that sort of thing. So I go around there with one of their catalogs and I would say, hey, have you ever heard of this company? And everybody, everybody would say, I probably asked 40, 50 people. It's called a convenience sample in statistics. Everybody would say, yeah, I used to get that catalog. And those are the exact words they used. I used to get that catalog. Okay, so as we got the database built, we started looking at what they were doing. It turned out that if you bought, they would rent lots of lists. You know, they would rent uh, hunting and fishing magazines, that sort of thing. If, if they rented you, so they rent you and they mail you in here. Okay, so they mail you in here and you decide to buy. Okay, so you buy. Okay. Now, they were really excited about recency. They were really committed to that. And they would mail you all the way around to about there. Maybe a little further. Because <laughs> they knew that the three to six month or the zero to six month buyers were there really hot. Okay. If you didn't buy in there, then you didn't probably get, get a, another book. You might not get any at all. Now the problem is, is that when you buy, <coughs> they added some follow-up mailings, but you didn't really get into the mail stream. Your real mailing started, I'll just take that out. Your real mailing started about here, okay? And they would go around to about there. So it's six months, but it's about two or three, four maybe months after you bought that you really get in the mail stream. And they go for about six months. So what happened was, we built our first model and we built it for the fishing mailing and we were new to this stuff. We'd hired a PhD statistician and you know I was kind of learning as we go. I finally found we, we moved into this new office and new studio. I finally found it, you can't see it over here, but right behind me is a copy of SPSS Chade's manual. And they actually did they were so nice to put me in there because I 
made some comments when, of how they could improve their program. But anyway, so we're totally new to this. And so we go, we're, we're, gonna, we're doing the modeling in here and we're looking back into the spring. And when we, when we looked at the main variables, and we'll work our way into the modeling process, but a lot of our variables are built on an RFM kind of concept. There might be 50, I would guess there's at least 50, maybe more, just recency variables, and probably equal, there's, there's probably 100, almost, no, there's at least 50 of each of those, maybe, maybe more, but I, I'm gonna say at least that many. And so the core concepts still work. But what happened was, we get the model done and it takes the most important variables and puts them up the top and there was no recency in it. I called my friend Tim Maybe. I hope Tim you're still around, maybe I'll send you a note that I mentioned you. I called Tim and I said, Tim, uh, I don't see recency. He said, then there's probably something wrong, which is always the way I start out thinking about models. And so Tim, uh, and so on that basis, we just tore everything apart looking for what could be wrong. We couldn't figure it out. Then it hit me. If you're pulling the names here and you're pulling high recency, who are you gonna get? Are you gonna get fishermen? No, you're gonna get hunters. Those are the ones that bought in the last quarter in the last six months, see that? And the fishermen have already got expired so they're not getting mailed at all. Remember that big problem they, they told me that they had? If you could solve this one problem, we get this complaint, why do you send me all this hunting stuff? Or why do you send me all this fishing stuff? It was because they were so committed to recency that they lost sight of the seasonality. Now I was just in a nice, uh, uh, I was talking with a, a fellow that created some of the original geodemographic data modeling. It's a very legendary story. It's, it's, uh, it's Sarah Lee's direct, just my size, that sort of thing. And they were selling plus size pantyhose that you wouldn't find in the, in the, maybe in the grocery store or wherever you buy those. And they were using RFM. Well, he got the idea to use the, uh, the driver's license information, which at the time you could get, I'm pretty sure you can't get it anymore. But he took the ratios of height to weight and found either very, very tall women or very he uh, heavy for their height women or tall, heavy women, I think all three, and found out that those women were very interested in buying online because just, they just couldn't get the right sizes. And so sometimes there are ways to use data that will outdo RFM. For example, another example in this same outfitter is they would mail, uh, they, they kept track of a product category and they, if you bought $5 worth of hunting stuff, but you bought 5,000 worth of fishing stuff, your RFM score would be the same, but your, you'd have a flag on hunting and fishing. So they would mail you equally. They might mail you harder in hunting, even though it was $5 in hunting and $5,000 in fishing. And so we help them fix that sort of thing up. But the point is, is that the way you create these variables can influence your business. And by not using recency, but by using their fishing pattern, as fishermen would say, we were able to generate, they told us 2.2.3 million dollars more on this mailing profit than they were, than they would have mailed. They compared their projections to what we actually generated. And they said 2.3 million, which is real money to most companies, okay? So the point is, is that RFM can cause trouble, depending on how you look at it. You gotta look at it a lot of different ways. We're gonna get more and more into how to look at it. But I wanna thank you for watching. I'm John Miglosh. Have fun with your data.